Hello guys. When I think of this sunscreen, I have three words. No white cast. My name is Jess and let's get into the sunscreen review. Today I'll be looking at this Neutrogena Invisible Daily Defense Lotion. This is the SPF 30 version. I know there is a higher SPF version of this, but the one that I have is the SPF 30 version. So everything that I'm saying will be referring to this one. Not the other one. This one. This Invisible Daily Defense sunscreen is a chemical sunscreen with four filters. The filters are specifically avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. This sunscreen claims to be oxybenzone free, be water resistant for 80 minutes, have antioxidants in it, and show up clear on your skin. I got the sunscreen for about 12 or 13 dollars at a Target and it comes with three fluid ounces. So if you look at the amount and the price, I would say it's about mid-range for a drugstore sunscreen. It's not super super expensive and it won't break me. It won't make me cry, but at the same time, it's not the cheapest option out there. I've been using it for about two weeks and it's down to about here. So that's a little bit of context if you're trying to see how long it's gonna last for you. For me, I've been putting the sunscreen only on my body, um, on my arms and sometimes my legs. Sometimes I wear long pants, what can I say? <laughs> so here's the reasons why I like the sunscreen. I like the sunscreen because there is no white cast. And when I first tried the sunscreen, I was shocked. Sometimes, like when you use chemical sunscreens, you have to kind of rub it in for a while and then you see that there's no white cast. But with this one, I didn't even need to rub it in that much. I rubbed it in maybe four times like this. One, two, three, four. And then I could already see there was no white cast showing. I was so shocked in a positive way. Another reason that I like the sunscreen, reason number two, is that it is quite matte. I would compare this to the Banana Boat Light as Air sunscreen in terms of how matte it is and in terms of how not tacky and oily it feels. This is not very tacky and oily. As far as a chemical sunscreen goes, this is not bad. Um, so those are the two reasons that I like it. Now, unfortunately, there is a reason that I don't like the sunscreen, and that reason is that it does sometimes pill on me. So sometimes if I don't rub it in enough and I let it be and I'm doing my daily activities, I, when I touch it again, I will see that it has kind of pilled off or rubbed off a little bit, um, especially on my legs. Let's talk about the fragrance. Yes, there is a fragrance in the sunscreen, and it is quite strong. In my opinion, it smells kind of a mixture of an aloe, and it's, it's a fresh aloe scent, in my opinion. It's not a traditional coconut sunscreen smell. It's different. It's a fresher bright scent. And I wouldn't classify it as a light scent. I would classify it as quite strong. If I was applying this and a person was sitting next to me, they would be able to smell the sunscreen. That's actually one of the reasons I haven't been using it on my face is because it does have fragrance and it does smell quite strong. So I feel like if it was wafting next to my nose all day, then, you know, it would be quite strong for my nose and also quite strong for my sensitive skin on my face so that's why i haven't been using it on my face however as a body sunscreen i can vouch for it and it's not bad okay now let's get into the application of this sunscreen all right so here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna apply it on my arms for you guys nowhere else okay just the arms because i'm just wearing a short sleeve today. That's all. And I'm not going to put this on my face because I got to advocate for myself. <laughs> so, all right. This is how it comes out. It's quite sloshy and liquidy. Actually, I don't know if you can hear this, but it sounds like a smoothie and it comes out pink.
looks like this and yes it does kind of swish around it's kind of liquidy and it applies like this see already I do not see any white cast you see how it just blends into your skin so quickly hardly a white cast it didn't even take me four rubs and the white cast is already gone So yes, one, that's, that's another thing to add to this. Um, it does spread quite easily because it is a liquid consistency and it blends in very quickly. So if you need to apply sunscreen quickly, this might be an option for you. This is the after effect of the sunscreen on my arm. There's a slight sheen on it right now, but it's not, not bad at all. Um, I think the artificial lighting gives it more of a sheen than, you know, than it actually is. But when I look at it with my, with my eyes, <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty matte already. And it gets a little more toned down as time goes by as well. So, yeah, that's all I have to say about the sunscreen. Have you guys ever tried this? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you like this video and it helped you out, please go ahead and click like. And if you want, come along, come along, subscribe, because I love to talk about sunscreens. And if you love to talk about sunscreens, then we both love to talk about sunscreens, and that's great. Come join me. It'll be fun. Let's do it together. Ding. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> See you next time.